Um, where is this monastery and was it easy to find a place in China that was willing to open such a place? Well, the story of this woman who has opened this monastery is one of her search for a start within herself. Uh, she first of all studied to be engineer because she thought she could help society in that way. And then she decided to study to be a doctor because she thought she could help society in a different way. But during all those years there was a, a knowing within her of something more. And then she came to Britain through a providence that's quite unique as well. And here then she was living and working with the uh, contempt Contemplative Sisters of St. Augustine. And there her vocation blossomed. She went back to China, oh, she went back to China, <laughs> and uh, then the question was, uh, how could she get the monastery going? She went to her own bishop first, and I think this story is very funny and very interesting. Uh, her own bishop had a certain view about how sisters should operate, and it would be unlike a bishop's view in England or Ireland 30 or 40 years ago. Sisters had a certain role of serving the church and serving the bishop and various things. So he advised her to go down to the local convent and work there like the other sisters. But she felt she had something more within her that she needed to respond to. And she went to a neighboring bishop. And as he said to me, the moment she told me her story, I said yes immediately, but not without thinking. Because it all brought back to mind to me my 20 years in prison, when I was 10 years in solitary confinement, and I had nothing else to do except contemplate. So I knew what she was talking about and knew that that would be a huge service to the church in China and to the people of China. And so I said, go ahead. And so we had the first profession in the monastery with this old bishop presiding in August uh, 2011.